They know what doors look like, mate. Just keep it on me. Behind those doors there, the winner is about to be announced. We think it's Chris Judd. We're going to ask the punters here, do they like the choice? Are they excited about grand final week? And do they think I'm possibly the greatest person they've ever met? I just want to congratulate you. Just That is the best call, the best reading of the votes I've ever heard. Well, thank you. Coming from you, I really appreciate and I'll it. i tell you what was good, your timing. You had pauses at the right spot, and just to tease people, then you'd go bang like that. I tell you what, if looks are anything, you'll stay in power till the year 2050. <laughs> I can't match so you. film star, he is. I can't match you, mate, though. I know that. Well, now you're going on Saturday. You wouldn't miss that. No, I'm quick. not going on Saturday. I'm going to Thailand stuff. to drink piss. When I was doing the interview before, with Chris Judd's Chris Judd's um, You never get aroused when I you see good-looking women. Kind of dress. I did. That dress was astonishing. Well, how can you get aroused at men, and how can you get aroused at women? Why don't you just have one or the other? Because you're so cute that why would you why would you try anything else? Did I say I love this man? The most exciting part of the night was probably uh, interviewing Chris Judd and seeing his lovely girlfriend in her dress. That I thought that was spectacular. Yeah, I think you've given that a bit much cue. Did you see Chris Judd's girlfriend? Excuse me, please. We have had every person that's come out here. I said you're looking good. You, they have all said you want to see Chris Judd's girlfriend. Now you are her, are you? I am her. Well, look, you look absolutely sensational. Thank Everyone, you. man, woman, and beast, have said you look the best. Great. How do you do it? Are you a fitness fanatic? No, I'm not a fitness fanatic. What do you do? What do I do? Yeah. What vocation are you in? What oh, job? I'm a model. Are you? Yeah, but I go to uni and um, well, deferring uni, but. Have well, what, what are you studying? Um, changed my degree. I'm going to study speech pathology. Speech. Pathology. Pathology. Yeah. yeah. Speech doctor. Hello, Spider. How are you? Yeah, Sam. You just missed Donald McDonald, one of the best coaches ever to f coach AFL football. Well, I couldn't. It was a choice out of whether I buttonholed him or I asked for you because you're a star. Well, I could probably actually coach the club better than he did. What a tremendously exciting night, isn't it? It was a fantastic night there, Sam. What do you particularly you like? Down. Thanks, champ. It's all my it's all right. <laughs> Tell me something I like now, will you? <laughs> Hello, Gary. How are you? <laughs> Is it an exciting night? Just tell us. Do you like these sort of nights? Ah, oh, they're all right, mate. It was a good experience. I'll give yeah, you another ten of them and you won't turn up, mate. You won't even bother coming. <laughs> nah, it's a girl's night, mate. She enjoyed it. That was the main thing. Tanya Buckley? Tanya? Isn't she a spunk? Oh, she's hot. What do you like about her? I love her. She's just hot. <laughs> I love her shoes, so... This is Dipper's daughter. <laughs> How are you, Tanya? <laughs> okay. Aren't these great nights? Excellent. You get really nervous just sitting here thinking that the great man could possibly mm, win. No. Seven or eight? Not this year. They were fair to him? Not, not this year, no. What, have you been critical of his year? Um, he's had a pretty shit year, I reckon. G'day, Lou, how are you? Do you know Craig Hutchison, Lou? Ah, oh, yeah, from Channel 9. From 7, Lou. Oh, sorry, got it mixed up. <laughs> Hello, Brooke Dolan, how are you? I'm wonderful, how are you? Now, look, how disconcerting that I've got smaller shoulders than Brooke. <laughs> smaller have, shoulders? Yeah, they're not as wide as yours. <laughs> That's uh, frightening. <laughs> Someone said that that has got the eight sides that finished on the top of the ladder on it your has. back. It has. Do you know where it is? It's around your back, isn't it? Shall I turn around? Would you do that? I will. This is the top eight sides. Yes, it is. Are the bottom eight sides uncomfortable? <laughs> no, you don't have to speak to us if no, you don't no, want to. Fine. We're only going to ask, only asking questions about football, Scott. Yeah, I'm just in a hurry to see Andre Bocelli. He's a very good singer. How can grand final week get any better than this? It starts off slow and then slackens right off. I suppose it'll be better if we were playing. No, oh, no, certainly not. No. Yep. If Geelong and St Kilda were playing in a grand final, what a shocker. We'd rather have Brisbane and the power plane, wouldn't we? Oh, of course we would. It's very, uh, very disappointing. It's, it's, cru it's cruel the whole season. You know that. <laughs> doesn't matter how much you talk it up, mate. It's rat shit. And here it is. But that's it there. This is one of the great things in my life, uh, and I can announce on national television now, Lynn, uh, I've actually just inherited $10 million, and I want you to pack your bags, and you're supposed to say, where are we going? I'm going somewhere. Aren't yeah, I? I'm not going anywhere. You go, Lynn, because I've got Sammy's address book. You absolute rip snorter. Thank you very much. Well, Shane, get out of that tracksuit, mate, and go to the after party, will you? No worries. What, what, what are you going to get?